Good evening everyone, I am the Nebogram. It's still light outside. Good afternoon everyone, I am the Nebogram. And I am listening to a creepy Welsh girl talking Welsh because... Obviously. Because today, I am not playing Pac-Man. I am playing the wonderful arcade game, Xbox Live arcade game, on Steam, Space Giraffe. Uh, the reason I'm playing this isn't because I went for went to play Sonic Adventure and accidentally got the next game down. That would be Sonic and All Stars Racing, which I do intend to play at some point. The reason I'm playing this is because I searched on Steam for um, Psychedelic, and this was the top game that came up. And any game made by uh, Jeff Minter and Lara Soft is automatically awesome, especially as he's recently been bullied quite heavily by um, Atari over the release of his brilliant PlayStation Vita game TXK for alleged similarities to Tempest, and yet there, there are similarities to Tempest. But in fairness, TXK is a much better game and Atari should have instead gone up to Jeff and said we are li want to license you. Instead, um, they didn't. They said, we're going to sue you because they're Atari, or at least they claim to be Atari, and they're basically fucks. So what I'm going to do instead is bring a bit of um, publicity to Jeff's games. Uh, Space Giraffe is still available on Xbox Live Arcade and on Steam. I've actually played it before on my YouTube channel. Um, but I only played the first eight levels. What I'm going to do over this series of live streams is play the whole damn lot. All of it, level 1 to 100. Regardless of how much I die, which is probably going to be a lot. I don't think I'll be able to do the whole thing in one go. There is an achievement, uh, which I think is called Poop in a Sock, uh, for um, getting from level 1 to 100 in one sitting. I've never been able to do that. I don't want to do it particularly either. Not because the game's bad, but because well, I have no patience. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the game and I will show you exactly what it's like. This is the titular character, the Space Giraffe. You move him with the left stick and you control the direction of the bullets with the right stick. And what you do is you shoot the enemies with your bullets. But you don't want to shoot them too much. You also want to uh, collect the pods. Fortunately I can still see this despite what happens here. Unlike Tempest, what happens when you collide with enemies at the edge of the at the edge of the web? I say, gosh. I'm meh, okay. That's good. Oh. And it's not called the Super Zapper, it's called the Sheepy Zapper because this is alarm stuff we're talking about, what else was it gonna be called? This is basically Tempest with a lot more yiffing, and as such is generally better. One tactic I've found here, I was going to say something, I can't remember what it was. Whoosh! Straight from multiplier of 1 to a multiplier of 9 in one go. Boy Bumba indeed. Right, I really cannot remember what I was going to say. Um, and I'll tell you the tactic that I use is to basically um, stay on the edge of the web in a corner. I'm oh, not too bad. That's good. Uh, shoot, shoot the occasional, uh, occasional um, enemies that come nearby, and. Then, once I've got a load on the web, ram them all off, bull them all off in one go. Sorry, I'll have to use the correct terminology. And get the massive multiplier that way. You cannot bull if the power zone is still active. Uh, the, the power zone being that line that you can see, which is slowly retreating, toward, slowly retreating towards me. Advancing towards me, whatever. 
I'm pretty sure Jeff's never been an English teacher, so we won't mind that too much. And unlike Tempest, one thing you can do in this game, which is most definitely not Tempest, is you can reflect enemy bullets back by shooting them. They're the... And if you pass a bullet whilst you're moving down the web, the giraffe sneezes. Shut up, it makes sense. These, I'm very good, excellent. These first few levels are very easy, just to sort of let you in, let you in, ease you into the uh, game gradually. I'm playing with an Xbox 360 controller, which unlike Pac-Man works perfectly on this. Um, it let, lets you into the game gradually. But later levels do get seriously hard as the variety of um, enemies gets um, greater. Well, I'm going to stay on the right hand side and pull enemies going to the left. Hello? Crap, I got hit by a bullet. Um, you have to be careful when you're bullying, obviously, just in case. I was hoping to sort of catch the bullets. I was hoping to sort of catch the bullets and shoot them off as I passed. Obviously, I didn't time that very well. But I'm going to let the bullets pass and then just move. There you go. I don't think I've actually activated the jump at any point. You can jump in Space Giraffe, provided you collect enough pods. Slightly not bad. Okay. High praise indeed. Next. You can see why this is the number one um, result on Steam search result for Psychedelic, I assume. Damn, I missed the pod. Incidentally, in the pre, in the pre-release versions of this, uh, the pods were come here and say that the pods were originally called nads. Uh, yeah, as in testicles. Ah, oh, shit! I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I was, I was attempting to do what I spectacularly failed to do in the last level. There. What I had to do there was hit the A button, which activates the sheepy zapper, because I accidentally let the uh, power zone power zone drain fully and uh, tried to bull. If you bull when there's no power zone, you effectively end up dead, unless you activate the sheepy zapper. And I'm calling it the sheepy zapper, not the not the um, super zapper. There is an achievement for keeping as many bullets in play as possible. I think you need 20. I'm pointing here, I don't know why you can't see me pointing on the camera. Okay. Next a bit stiff, apologies for the nod. Right. Kernigan and Richie, yeah. Or whatever that means. Let's, have, let's be having them. Let's be having these flippers. Are they still called flippers even though it's decidedly not Tempest? Where's the pod? I'm going to try and get as many pods as possible. This has always been an ambition of mine. I've actually got five testicles in real life, you know. Have it! One thing you can always say about Llama Soft Games, in addition to being psychedelic as hell, the soundtrack is always absolutely brilliant. Even if there are, even if I Love Horses has been left out. We can live without it. Uh, sadly, this being the PC version and not the Xbox Live version, there's no J Allard image in um in any of the 
in any of the backgrounds or any of the levels, unlike the Xbox Live version where Mr. Allard himself puts in an appearance, just, and why not? Why not have a chief executive of Microsoft in the background of your games, just for shits and giggles? Oh, I'm sure there was a serious artistic reason for it. I don't appear to be getting any bonuses. Oh, here's the one-up. That's good. And if you collect enough pods... Oh, get it, get it, got it, got it. Fast bullet, good. That's... I, I think I'm, I'm hoping I've got the uh, bonus level. Um... Oh, I've got an achievement. Klepto Giraffe. There were pods plenty here. Some levels have specific criteria that you have to meet before you can pass them. I think this might be one of them. I can't remember what that criteria is. Both criteria, sorry. But if you collect enough pods, usually you unlock a bonus level. Yes, 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 yes! If you collect enough pods in consecutive levels... Yes. You unlock a bonus level, which is sort of like a chill out level, rather than the hard, hard arcade action that we've got here. Level 8. I think this is the one where the enemies don't shoot at all. It is. It's called Unbelievable because what you do is you let as many enemies get to the end as possible, whilst keeping the power zone active. And nail them all in one go. I'll love him. There was an achievement for which are getting nine lives and uh, a multiplier of nine at the same time. It's not very easy for obvious reasons. There you go. Um, yeah, if you rinse the level, which is uh, achieve what would be an ink 3 but in the multiplier, but uh, without the multiplier, when the multiplier is already at 9, then you get a 1 up, which seems fair enough. This is one of my favourite levels. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember what the jump button is. <coughs> Bonus round, awesome. Now this is the chill out. What you have to do is manoeuvre the giraffe around so that you hit these flowers with the giraffe's hooves. It's, and the, the giraffe belches. I think Jeff has a bit of an immature sense of humour, but I don't mind. It's perfectly relaxing and peaceful, apart from the uh, gastroenteritis. I haven't played this game in ages, and I've forgotten just how good it actually is. Uh, one of the reviewers from the official Xbox magazine in America scored it 2 out of 10, uh, presumably because that guy's a twat. Uh, you have to keep the sort of the flower multiplier alive, because if you miss enough in a row, the bonus level will end. And it took me two uh, pods to get the bonus level this time. Um, for the next bonus level, you'll need three pods. Now you'll notice that the giraffe also gets slightly better defined, uh, graphics-wise, after each bonus level as well. Oh no, I think you'll find there is quite a lot of yiffing in this game. These things here are flowers. Damn! Um, 
they're like they're like flowers in temper, so then they shoot off their petals once they reach a certain length, which is very deeply annoying. And they make, and they also make cow noises. I think that's them anyway. You, there was an achievement for keeping the first flower in a level alive. Oh, there's a ball token, which is the which is the bonus level. There's an achievement for keeping the first flower alive in a level alive until the end of the level. Uh, though that does take some doing. This is probably the easiest level on which to do it because it's obviously the um, yes. It's obviously the first yeah. le level where the flowers yeah. appear. Yeah. Sorry, I just scratched my testicles. I'm good. Good. So it's not a bull token, it's an ox token. I should I should have made that distinction. Apologies to anybody watching. Right. Uh, what I did there was kill a load of flowers, I think. Uh, gaining pods also uh, extends the power zone. Shit, I got went the wrong way there. Gaining pods is always a sound strategy. Oh, there's a flower shooting off his uh, head. Right, we get oh ox token, good. We are gonna let the um let the flowers go. Uh, I think I've already got the uh, one up pod. Sometimes you can't actually kill well uh, sometimes you can't actually kill flowers uh, because the um they extend faster than you can shoot them back even with fast bullets which I don't appear to have well, I, I do have fast bullets but it's not that terribly quick oh get them get them get them no hoping for a one up there didn't get it no biggie I'm guessing good as opposed to breaking bad and the start bonus that you can see at the bottom there, you can restart the game at any level and it will always go for your, um, you can start it on the best score that you left off on and it preserves the amount of lives you have as well. Which is useful for those of you who don't want to try and do the entire game in one sitting, which as I said before isn't recommended unless you really are into deeply into achievements. Right, we steer clear of those flowers, I think. At least until they shot off. Was that the was that the was that the ox token? That's the ox token. Awesome. I think the first one was the one up. I'm so close to the, so close to that achievement, 9 and 9. 9 lives, 9 multiplier. Ah, oh, what? No multiplier? Are you kidding me? I've got 8 and 8. Yeah. Is that yeah. good enough? Yeah. I don't yeah. think so. And we're back to the psychedelia with the bull in the background with the nose ring. Burp, damn you, burp. Did you 
just say Cavalier Pardus? That's awesome. Incidentally, on, on the, on the pre-release versions of this, and the development versions, instead of saying things like, um, saying things like whoops, it would, it would say things like cunt. Uh, this is largely because, uh, Jeff doesn't like, um, images, development images, being, appearing in, uh, magazines, and putting the word cunt all over them is a fairly good way of guaranteeing that they don't. All population paste is another is another one that I remember seeing. The flowers are thinning out. Perfectly splendid nosh. Oh there we go. I think after the next one the giraffe gets a bit better defined graphics wise. Oh, see what I mean about the really fast growing flowers? Multiply me! Five, good. Well, I've done it! Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't much to that level. But I'm up to nine lives, all I need to do now is get the multiple. I think I'm up to nine lives, my score, my dashboard appears to be melting. Uh, I have nine lives, I need to get the multiplier up to nine now. Is that entrance? Entrance or entrance? <laughs> have to be very careful. Here the flowers are extending past the um past the rim, which is very, very dickish of them. Oh well, I just remember that unlike in Tempest, uh, you don't actually need a specific pod in order to be able to jump. You can do it at any time. Uh, oh shit, I crashed into the flower. Damn it! Well, there goes nine lives. Average is about right. I've got the ox token, good. Uh, what? This is gonna be cozy. No multiplier. I think it was a flower again, made of my fucking existence. Apologies to all florists watching, but if you're a florist and you're watching me play a psychedelic PC game... Was that the ox token? What up? My giraffe is doing the splits. That's what I love about Llama Soft games. No ox token. That's what I love about Llama Soft games. You say things you never ever think you say in real life. My giraffe is doing the splits.
L is for Lager, if you say so. I'm straight edge, so obviously I disagree, but... Sure game, you call it, you, you name the levels whatever you want, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. I know my head's leaning to the level. I know my head's leaning. Six. Oh, we, we, are for, we are possibly on for the multiplier here. There's nine. Good, good, good. There's the one up. Just need another one up, and we've got the achievement. Yes! Get it! Mine's a nine to nine. Get the ox as you're getting down the you're getting down the web, I like it. Yes. Yes. CUXM Dan, this is how you play the game. I am awesome. My arse has gone numb. Right, um I'm getting the achievements, what I'm gonna do, there were hundred levels in this game, I think I'm gonna call it after about twenty. Or 20 or um damn there are flowers of flowers afoot do not like flowers damn <laughs> I may have to call it after this level then. What I was going to say is call it after 20 levels or the next ox token, whichever one, or the next, next, but next um, bonus level, whichever one's next. Mr. 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 Pod. I'm back to average again. Zero pod diligence. Uh, what? Okay, I've got an achievement there for preserving my pods. Something every man wants to hear, apparently. That is the enemy that says near. Anybody who doesn't get the reference is officially not a human being. I could use a wad up so I need to let more accumulate on the web. Damn! Did I just get like two wad ups in one go there? Like. on here, level 18. I need two more pods for the for the bonus rounds. Two more ox tokens, ox pods, ox testicles. Oh shit! I 
think those things are bad news if you let them get to the edge of the web. So obviously you don't want to let them get to the edge of the web. Uh, shit. Right, what have I just done? I think I got that in just enough time. Yeah. You cannot, uh, in addition to not being able to bull, if there's no power zone, you don't get the additional steerable bullets either. Time that poorly. A look at the flood of enemies on the edge of the web. That's why it's a good thing. Box token. Did I just crash with a knee thing and, and bullet? That's also not true. My giraffe has got some serious little funky, spunky tails going on. Right, one more ox token gets me the bonus round. Right. I was attempting to check the um Oh no, I can't draw that enemy apparently. Probably for the best. Go on, get the pod and crash into everything as fast as you can. Oh my word! What on earth is happening? All the bullets! Well, there, that, that would have been an attempt to get the achievement for keeping the bullets alive. token no ultra good is apparently better than regular good well I'm gonna check the chats whilst I still have vague opportunity nothing in it okay don't think so This is not how we use an apostrophe. Those spherical things look those spherical things are bad news. I can't be bold. Difficulty turning left from right here. Maps with weird shapes like this really are not my favourite. Get it, get it out, get it out, get out of it. Go on. You're right off that level, I think. I just want one more ox token. Not brilliant. 
but not really. I'm this is a game for people who enjoy getting large scores. Um, made up words. Oh, this shit, there's four of them! Fuck! Me, he was a resilient little bastard. Mr. Pong, well I never. Damn it! Yeah, we're writing off this level as well, I think. Danger. What's the jump button? Okay, that's just super up one. Right trigger, that's the jump button, thank you. I knew I was doing it right. No pods. No, I have pods. I'm sure I've built more than that before and not got a multiplier out of that. Hello? Yeah, the levels are getting harder as you can see. You have to sort of develop tactics. And that means you don't lose five lives in two levels. And I still want that final ox token. I'm back to being meh. Please don't give me a round level. I've got a round level, haven't I? This game is our arcade game, so it is basically light score attack, the only difference being that there's enough co- oh. Crap on a cracker! Blown up clean. Got that multiplier up. Take out old Spikey as fast as possible because they're the ones who seem to be. Oh, that was needed. Come on, Ox Token! Ox Token! Fast bullets. Better than nothing. Ox Token! Come on, Ox Token! Yes! Crap, but yes. <laughs> Got it, okay. Deep exhale. Deep exhale, yeah, yeah, me deep exhale. Photodus round act activated. Chill out time. Carol Leopard delicious, I like it. I want to work that word. I work at a call centre, I'm going to have to try and find a way of working that word into an official conversation. It's got to be done. Camelia Pardalicious. I've decided I'm not going to call this episode title My Giraffe is Doing the Splits, I'm going to call it Camelia Pardalicious. On the off chance that somebody somewhere, at some point in the dim and distant future, actually Googles that word.
Okay, I'm gonna call it here for the stream. I've done the these decent enough work, and I'll play it on a level that looks like Clippy. Stinky Ox, incidentally, is the name of Jeff Mincer's live journal. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, exit the game here. Oh, okay. Congratulations. Uh, no, name is obviously gonna be... Neb. Um, next time when I pick up, I can just... Hang on a sec. Pick up straight from where I like, at level 24, before moving on to level Smiley. I have been the Never Grand, and I'm going to have to figure out how to do that again. I shall see you soon for a bit more space giraffing. Cheerio folks! <laughs>